birthdays. And I want to welcome you to this uh, critical event. Uh, and I want to congratulate the clubs that have made it. Um, women football, as you are aware, is one of the darling sports in this country. And I want to ask you, uh, the members in that field, to protect our girls against uh, any wrong things. I want to see women football being played on surfaces that are good enough. We shall not accept football being played on playgrounds that are patched up. Some areas are bare, they don't have the grass, others have. Can we make sure that our girls play football from the acceptable and standard playgrounds? Today we are here for the fourth edition of the Round of 32 of our favorite, uh, one of our most uh, recent products, the Women FUFA Women Cup, the Round of 64. And today we are here to say that uh, FUFA has worked back to back to ensure that women football gets to the forefront as far as uh, football in Uganda is concerned. You will know that we have passed off a, couple, uh, a number of rounds for the Uganda Cup. We are in tens of tens after the 19th of edition, but for the women, we are still crawling at a very low uh, 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 thread, but the quality and effort is commendable. I am here to commend the effort of all players that are supporting women football in Uganda, the owners of the clubs, right from the 10 club to the Super League, the 11 club to the Allied, we have some one club uh, from uh, Nan League, we have clubs from the region, we have players, and we have uh, sponsors, we have regulators, we have coaches, we have, you, you know, people that support women football in Uganda. We are here to say thank you, and we are here to encourage you that the future of football is bright. Just like the president of the Federation of Football said that 50, almost 51% of the people in the world are women. So if you leave out activities to do with women, you will more or less have left out a big, big portion of the people around the world. And we know that this is one of the, 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 the most favorite sports worldwide. So today we are kicking off this, uh, this draws so that we can uh, start uh, the round and then later we shall still draw on to find out who later qualify. And the federation is coming up with a final total prize of 15 million that will be broken up into the different winners as will be read out by uh, the director of competitions. So we request you to, to, to accept and, and commend the efforts of the Federation when we are giving out these rewards. More often than not, when we come here, the question is always, we didn't get our prize money, we, 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 we didn't get our prize money, but I'm looking forward to a day when someone will say thank you. Thank you, we, we commend the effort, even if it's a small token, please let us learn to appreciate when something is thrown out. So we'll now uh, draw, uh, go straight because of our uh, TV time, I uh, will go straight to the draws, but I know that the uh, director has uh, uh, the details to read out. Thank you. Dynamic Chesa Women Football Club, Dynamic Place in the Copa Women Ada Leach, will face She Corporate Football Club. Number six, India's near secondary school versus Shima 
accounts. Batch number seven, Rubaka women, FC versus Toro queens. Batch number eight, Atori queens versus Kampala queens. Batch number nine, Kagi FC versus Kawete Muslim. Batch number ten, year five, queens versus Venus FC. Batch number eleven, Dynamic Jezra versus Ship of Prep. Batch number twelve, Echoes women versus Taiko girls. Batch number thirteen, She Game versus Lamo queens. Batch number fourteen, Budiangu versus Lady Ducks. Batch number fifteen, Kawete Junior versus Federal University. Batch number sixteen, Extension of Girls versus Official Hills. In the next round, we shall be talking about the 